Don't throw jabs at me, Godon's once fellow comedians. Oh boy, see princess. If I marry somebody like princess, my breakfast is already settled. All the body will have to have you on your breast with your fire. Godons needs little or no introduction in the comedy industry, having performed in some of the biggest entertainment shows in Nigeria. We got Godons for an interview recently at Heap TV Studio, and he shared with us what he has in store for his fans this year, including his comedy show, which will be taking place later this year. He's going to go through the whole of the Niger Delta area uh, later on, uh, maybe from next year. Uh, but basically, we want to be able to do uh, Godon's Comedy Clinic in Lagos because I haven't, apart from the Island Comedy Clinic I did in Lagos quite a long time, about seven years ago, uh, I have not done any other personal show in Lagos. So Godon's Comedy Clinic for Lagos is going to be basically about three people. Uh, it's, it's just going to be the Godon's Comedy Clinic, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Just three of us on stage. We want to be able to give time to comedians to express themselves. If I'm doing an hour, 30 minutes, my next hour should be able to do an hour, and the other person should be able to do an hour. And if you just have three major comedians who can deliver perfectly, the show will be over. And then we have musicians to spice up, and that's it. Because basically, the, the type of shows that we see in Lagos, they bring all sorts. Like 20 comedians will come up for a show, there won't be time for any comedian to express himself. But I want to be able to create this opportunity for just me, if it is possible, I could do it just by myself. But if I also want to give an opportunity, maybe to two comedians. And uh, we do not intend to keep people waiting, but just get them cracked up, get them excited and happy, and uh, that will be it. Godons also revealed exclusively to Hip TV that he'll be releasing a music album this year. I have a couple of things I want to do this year. I'm dropping an album this year, musical album. For some of you may not know, uh, I started off as a musician. Uh, before comedy took a better part of me. And uh, yeah, I will be doing a musical album this year. This is not to say that I want to go into music fully, but I just want to express that aspect of my life. Uh, yeah, and then I'm doing a, a comedy concert this year, first of its kind, that is called uh, The Gondos uh, Kingdom Comedy All Stars. Basically, it's going to be a church like. Uh, comedy uh, event. It's just going to be basically for families and for church and those who want to be church people. Uh, so you expect the jokes to be a little bit clean. You expect the joke to be decent and uh, to be cent centered around any religion of the world. Uh, yeah, that's what I intend to do. And then, of course, I'll be doing my own comedy clinic for the first time in Lagos this year. He further revealed that he would also be embarking on a European tour. Uh, well, I've not done a tour for a long time, apart from oh, apart from the, the one I did in 2008, when I did the European tour, I went to nine countries in Europe, and uh, it was remarkable for me because that was my beginning of uh, meeting the international, our brothers in the diaspora. Uh, uh, from then, I've been getting a lot of appointment and uh, calls to be able to come and do a show Around, uh, uh, around Europe, around America, uh, Canada, and other continent of the world. Uh, but because I'm someone who's also committed to the job that I do here back home, and uh, I actually felt, I didn't go because I felt the time has not come. Uh, but for this year, I want to be able to do a tour. Uh, basically, I maybe do the Yankee tour, you know, because I hate leaving this country for a long time. Because once you leave this country for too long, they might take your place. Uh, so you get to keep working, keep giving your people what you've got. So I don't, I hate leaving this country. I hardly would travel out of this country and stay two weeks. What am I doing there? So I just want to do maybe a Yankee tour, do a Canadian tour, and of course I want to visit Australia this year and uh, do a little bit of Malaysia because I've had to turn down Malaysia invite almost 10 times and I think it's not proper because my fans over there also want to see me. So I want to give them an opportunity this year to be able to do Malaysia tour. Uh, yeah, uh, when I'm done with that, and then I should be back home. I'm ready for Comedy Clinic and the Godon's Kingdom Comedy All Stars. Last year at AY Live in Petakot, Godon's and fellow comedian Helen Paul got involved in the war of words on stage. 
Their performance was so good that people assumed it was real. Thereafter, both of them denied having any personal grudge against each other. However, here is what Gadons now has to say to fellow comedians concerning throwing jabs at him. I, I, can't, be, I can't be serious. I was doing my act, man. I can't be serious. That was a healthy fight. We do it in comedy. You hit me, I hit you. Nobody goes home with stress. You understand? I, princess once hit me, and I would not spare you. You say one thing to me, I say two. And everybody will be settled properly. And so uh, 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 princess won't hit me in a co-hotel. Same way why show? I jabbed from every corner. Because it's our game. I've seen a lot of celebrity hit on me before while on stage. And I will not spare anybody. Not even my father. You say something to me on stage and I'm with the microphone. Expect something. And I tell you the truth, what you will hear will not be pleasant. It's just our game. And so in a white show, when Helen was trying to say something nasty to me, you know, I was sitting down there. I wasn't, I wasn't looking for anyone's trouble. While she went on stage, she hit me. Not only did she hit me, she hit me, she hit Alibaba, Basket Mount, and AY. And then, uh, well, they didn't have the time to say anything. Unfortunately for her, for her, I was given an opportunity. Towards the end of my performance, the blood of revenge came up. <laughs> oh God, I feel like talking. <laughs> and something I could not control took over me. And I had to pause and answer the woman of God, who first of all threw things at me. And uh, you people even edited the job. If not, you know problem was coming. And then when, she, when I, I answered her, I said, you said this thing to me. And everybody said, yeah, yeah. And then I gave five for one. And then she could not handle it. She came up and gave me like three. And then I knew today, if we don't die, we are not dying again. I have to replace with 15 so that my anger will come down properly. But in all fairness, when we weren't fighting, I wasn't beefing her. She wasn't beefing me. We were just doing our thing as comedians. Oh, God. Do you have the brass tags? Don't find my trouble next time.